We all have to make decisions every day. What's the best way to go about it? Take an analytical approach? Go on a whim? Or simply use your intuition? It doesn't really matter. The important thing is to consciously make a decision one way or another and stick to it. Porsche Intelligent Performance. That's the only way to get right to the point. The decision on which direction to take when designing the new Cayenne models was clear. It was all about making a strong statement. Porsche through and through. The character of the new Cayenne models is apparent at first glance. The front section reflects the sheer power and resolution within, while the contours draw the eye. Another distinguishing feature is the power-domed engine lid. This is particularly dominant on the new Cayenne Turbo. The elongated front section is reminiscent of Porsche race cars from the 1960s. The front wheel arches are clearly defined, emphasizing the tailored sides. Another typical sports car element is the profile of the new Cayenne models with their flowing coupe-like silhouette. Striking interior features include the way the center console rises to meet the dashboard, clearly inspired by the Panamera and Carrera GT, both thoroughbred race cars. So the design is more Porsche than ever. And what about weight, aerodynamics and efficiency? Also a clear decision and one of great importance. The new Cayenne models are now even more powerful and efficient. They are also lighter, with each one weighing up to 185 kilograms less than the respective previous model. The Cayenne now comes in five different variants, from the new Cayenne diesel, and new petrol engines Cayenne, Cayenne S, and Cayenne Turbo to the new Cayenne S Hybrid. Ferdinand Porsche built the first standard electric and hybrid drive systems back in 1900 for the Luna Porsche. The new parallel full hybrid system on the new Cayenne S Hybrid features a 3-liter V6 supercharged engine and an electric machine consisting of a motor and a generator for increased efficiency. The engine delivers 245 kilowatts, 333 horsepower, while the electric machine generates 34 kilowatts, 47 horsepower. This system offers performance levels that are almost equivalent to a V8 unit. Working in tandem, both units provide a total output of 279 kilowatts, 380 horsepower, and a maximum torque of 580 newton meters. The car is capable of accelerating from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds. Top speed is 242 kilometers per hour, 150 miles per hour. The electric machine on the parallel full hybrid system is integrated directly into the drivetrain. This offers several benefits, both for the driver and the environment. Under moderate acceleration and at low speeds, the electric machine can power the vehicle independently. For example, when driving through residential areas solely on electric power. The electric machine can also be used to boost power for faster acceleration. The generator can be used to recuperate energy during braking. This also charges the battery, making it kinder on the environment. Other energy-saving features include the car's ability to glide along even when the engine is turned off. 
The hybrid version, therefore, also brings significant benefits even when not driving in urban traffic, as the vehicle can simply coast along many stretches of road without any power at all. The TFT color display in the instrument cluster shows a chart providing information on the current energy flow. Further driving data is displayed via the optional Porsche Communication Management, PCM. The new Cayenne diesel has a 3-liter V6 turbo diesel engine that generates 176 kilowatts, 240 horsepower, between 4,000 and 4,400 RPM. Direct fuel injection comes courtesy of a common rail injection system. The powerful unit has a maximum torque of 550 newton meters. This is available between 2,000 and 2,250 RPM. The car has a top speed of 218 kilometers per hour, 135 miles per hour, and accelerates from zero to 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour in 7.8 seconds. Fuel consumption is just 7.4 liters per 100 kilometers, 38.2 miles per gallon, 20% less than on the previous model. The new Cayenne features a naturally aspirated 3.6 liter V6 engine with direct fuel injection, DFI and variable valve timing on both inlet and exhaust. The unit delivers 220 kilowatts, 300 horsepower at 6,300 RPM and maximum torque of 400 newton meters at 3,000 RPM. The car has a maximum speed of 230 kilometers per hour, 143 miles per hour and requires 7.5 seconds to reach 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour. Fuel consumption is 9.9 .9 liters per 100 kilometers, 28.5 miles per gallon, with Tiptronic S, which is 20% less than the previous model. The new Cayenne S is powered by a naturally aspirated 4.8 liter V8 engine with direct fuel injection DFI and VarioCam Plus. The unit develops 294 kilowatts, 400 horsepower at 6,500 RPM. Maximum torque of 500 newton meters is available at 3,500 RPM. The Cayenne S accelerates from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour in 5.9 seconds. Top speed is 258 kilometers per hour, 160 miles per hour. Fuel consumption is just 10.5 liters per 100 kilometers, 26.9 miles per gallon, which is 23% less than its predecessor. The new Cayenne Turbo has a 4.8 liter twin turbo V8 engine featuring direct fuel injection DFI, VarioCam Plus, and charge air cooling. It generates 368 kilowatts, 500 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. Maximum torque of 700 newton meters is available between 2,250 and 4,500 RPM. Maximum speed is an impressive 278 kilometers per hour, 173 miles per hour. Well, the sprint from zero to 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour, takes just 4.7 seconds. Fuel consumption is 11.5 liters per 100 kilometers, 24.6 miles per gallon, 23% less than on the previous model, not least thanks to a weight saving of 185 kilograms. In the petrol engines, DFI injects fuel directly into the combustion chamber with millisecond precision using electromagnetic injectors for optimum distribution of the air-fuel mixture and efficient combustion. The result? Greater performance and torque with comparatively low emissions and fuel consumption.
fuel economy is further boosted by the auto start-stop function. If, for example, you stop in traffic with your foot on the brake pedal, the system will automatically stop the engine. Depending on vehicle and external parameters, such as battery charge, outside temperature, or gradient, the system restarts the engine as soon as you release the brakes. The enormous potential of the new Cayenne models is transmitted to the road or any terrain by the new 8-speed Tiptronic S. It is fitted as standard on the new Cayenne S Hybrid, new Cayenne Diesel, new Cayenne S and new Cayenne Turbo. Based on current road conditions and driving style, it automatically selects the right gear shift pattern from economy to performance driving. Making a conscious decision in favor of something also takes experience, precision, and the right timing. Especially when dealing with the levels of performance offered by the new Cayenne models. All new Cayenne models come with Porsche Traction Management, PTM. PTM on the new Cayenne, new Cayenne S and new Cayenne Turbo is an active all-wheel drive system with an electronically variable multi-plate clutch, automatic brake differential, ABD, and anti-slip regulation, ASR. PTM ensures the perfect distribution of drive torque at all times, whether on long straights, through tight corners, or on surfaces with different friction coefficients. It is also particularly useful for towing applications and on loose, muddy, or slippery surfaces. Using the PTM control on the center console, the center differential and also, in conjunction with the optional Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus PTV Plus, the rear differential can be fully locked for even better grip, especially in particularly demanding off-road scenarios. On the new Cayenne S Hybrid and the new Cayenne Diesel, PTM includes a self-locking center differential, ABD and ASR. On these two models, PTM also enables variable distribution of engine torque to the rear wheels. A standard feature on all new Cayenne models, Porsche Hill Control, PHC, provides downhill assistance by maintaining a constant rate of speed on extreme downhill gradients. It is activated via a switch on the center console. The speed can be set to between 3 and 30 kilometers per hour. That is between 2 and 19 miles per hour. Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus, PTV Plus, is available as an option on the new Cayenne, new Cayenne S, and new Cayenne Turbo. A system for enhancing driving dynamics and stability, PTV Plus offers variable distribution of engine torque to the rear wheels and an electronically controlled limited slip rear differential. When entering a corner at high speed, moderate brake pressure is applied to the inside rear wheel. This transfers drive torque to the outside rear wheel, which supports the steering action of the car. This creates more positive turn-in and improves cornering dynamics. Torque is distributed between front and rear by means of the electronically controlled multi-plate clutch of the rear differential. For even greater traction and driving stability at high speeds, during fast cornering and under wheel spin in off-road use. Available as an option on all new Cayenne models, Porsche Active Suspension Management, PASM, is an electronic damping control system which offers continuous adjustment of the damping forces on each wheel, 
based on current road conditions and driving style. PASM has three driver-selectable setup modes, comfort, normal, and sport. The system remains active at all times, enabling greater car control and improving comfort and safety. Standard equipment on the new Cayenne Turbo includes air suspension with PASM. This is available as an option on all other new Cayenne models. With the ride height control on the center console, you can easily vary the ground clearance by switching between six different levels. High level two, high level one, normal level, low level one, low level two, and loading level. Low level two is automatically selected when the car accelerates beyond 210 kilometers per hour, 130 miles per hour. Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control, PDCC, is an active anti-roll system available as an option on the new Cayenne, new Cayenne S and new Cayenne Turbo in conjunction with air suspension PASM. It further enhances the extraordinary road holding and precision handling of the new Cayenne models. The system anticipates and significantly reduces lateral body movement during cornering. As a result, the car remains stable and easy to control, while offering optimum traction and occupant comfort, both on and off the road. All new Cayenne models are fitted with completely revised wheels. Standard on the new Cayenne and Cayenne Diesel, the new 18-inch Cayenne wheels. Standard on the new Cayenne S and Cayenne S Hybrid, the new 18-inch Cayenne S3 wheels. Standard on the new Cayenne Turbo, the new 19-inch Cayenne Turbo wheels. A range of other wheel options in various sizes, up to 21 inches in diameter, is available on all models. The more conscious a decision is, the clearer you should be about the potential consequences so that you can react more effectively. The new Cayenne models feature a braking system that has six-piston monoblock aluminum fixed calipers at the front and four-piston monoblock aluminum fixed calipers at the rear. All Cayenne models have internally vented discs all round. This ensures optimum performance even during heavy use. On the new Cayenne and Cayenne diesel, the discs measure 350 millimeters in diameter at the front and 330 millimeters at the rear. The calipers are finished in black. On the new Cayenne S and Cayenne S Hybrid, the discs are 360 millimeters in diameter at the front and 330 millimeters at the rear. The calipers are finished in silver. To compensate for the greater engine performance, the discs on the new Cayenne Turbo are larger, 390 millimeters in diameter at the front and 358 millimeters at the rear. The calipers have a red finish. The new electric parking brake is safe and easy to use. Manually activated and deactivated, it releases automatically as you pull away. With the hill hold function, you can pull away on a slope without ever rolling back. The race-proven Porsche Ceramic Composite Brake, PCCB, is available as an option. It features calipers with a yellow finish. The cross-drilled discs are even more generously proportioned. On the Cayenne Turbo, they have a diameter of 410 millimeters at the front and 370 millimeters at the rear, while on all other models, they measure 390 millimeters at the front and 370 millimeters at the rear. The key advantage of PCCB is a total weight saving of approximately 50% compared with equivalent cast iron discs. This represents a major reduction in unsprung and rotating masses. The results, better road holding, enhanced comfort, 
and a further boost to agility and brake performance. Excellent fade resistance is guaranteed thanks to consistently high friction values. All new Cayenne models are equipped as standard with Advanced Porsche Stability Management, PSM, an electronic control system that helps stabilize the vehicle in hazardous road scenarios. If the throttle pedal is released suddenly, PSM automatically readies the braking system. The pressure in the brake lines is marginally increased, bringing each of the pads into light contact with the corresponding disc. In an emergency stop, that is, when the pressure on the brake pedal exceeds a certain threshold, the brake assist function uses the PSM hydraulics to apply maximum braking force. For added safety, the system also readies the brakes whenever a decreasing distance to a vehicle in front is detected. Adaptive cruise control and PSM interact to pre-fill the brakes. In addition, the system alerts the driver to the decreasing distance by briefly tugging on the brakes. Other features include a special control strategy in the ABS for braking on loose surfaces. By briefly locking the wheels, a wedge is formed ahead of each tire, which provides additional purchase to help slow the car. Standard equipment on all models includes full-size driver and passenger airbags, along with Porsche Side Impact Protection System, POSIP. This comprises thorax airbags in each front seat backrest, curtain-type airbags that provide extensive head protection for both rows of seats, and side impact protection elements in each door. All new Cayenne models can also be fitted with optional side airbags at the rear. The new Cayenne, new Cayenne Diesel, new Cayenne S and new Cayenne S Hybrid feature halogen main headlights with automatic static range control and reflection high beam lights as standard for optimum illumination of the road. In addition, all models are equipped with LED daytime running lights. LED technology is used for all functions on the new rear light modules for an ultra-fast response and greater luminance. In short, for greater safety. In an emergency stop, the adaptive LED brake lights on the new Cayenne models pulsate to alert the traffic behind more quickly to a critical situation. The high-level third brake light is integrated into the roof spoiler. The new Cayenne Turbo has bi-xenon main headlights with halogen auxiliary headlights, integrated headlight cleaning and dynamic range control, as well as the Porsche Dynamic Light System, PDLS. These are available as optional equipment on all other new Cayenne models. Twice as bright as halogen bulbs, they provide more uniform illumination of the road. The Porsche Dynamic Light System PDLS is standard on the Cayenne Turbo and available as an option for all other models. It includes the following three functions. The dynamic cornering light function swivels the main headlights towards the inside of a bend based on the steering angle and road speed. The static cornering lights activate the auxiliary headlights in order to illuminate more of the road in tight bends and turns. The speed sensitive headlight control logic adjusts the range of the dipped beams at higher speeds by adapting the shape of the light cone, extending it further forward to improve visibility without dazzling oncoming traffic. The manually selectable adverse weather function reduces the effect of reflection phenomena in poor visibility conditions. The dipped beams are fanned out and the light cone lowered to reduce the light intensity, increasing the driver's visibility and decreasing the risk of dazzling oncoming traffic. Isn't it great when you can make a conscious decision? One that offers plenty of scope. Porsche makes this possible. The interior of the new Cayenne models has been completely revised, 
sporty and dynamic, it features clear lines and is available in a wide range of new colors and materials. The comfort seats with eight-way electric adjustment are easy to use and ensure comfortable motoring. They're fitted as standard on the new Cayenne, new Cayenne Diesel, new Cayenne S, and new Cayenne S Hybrid. Available as an option for all models, the comfort seats with 14-way comfort memory package include electrically adjustable lumbar supports, seat squab length, and steering column, as well as extensive personal memory functions. Adaptive sport seats with comfort memory package and electrically adjustable steering column are available as standard equipment on the new Cayenne Turbo and optional equipment on all other new Cayenne models. The package also includes electrically adjustable lumbar supports, adjustable squab length, and independently adjustable side bolsters on the seat squab and backrest for added comfort and a sportier ride. The rear bench can comfortably accommodate up to three adult occupants. It features four aft adjustment of up to 160 millimeters. The backrest angle can also be adjusted to provide extra leg room or load space. The luggage compartment on the new Cayenne models easily holds up to 670 liters. In a few simple movements, this can be increased to 1,780 liters with the split folding rear seats. Optional equipment includes an automatic tailgate. The optional load space management system enables you to partition the luggage compartment and secure individual items. It also includes a load space partition net for attachment between the luggage compartment and seats. Designed for use with braked trailer loads of up to 3,500 kilograms, two tow bar options are available. An electrically retractable tow bar system or a manually detachable tow bar. Porsche Communication Management, PCM, including navigation module, is standard fitment on the new Cayenne Turbo. PCM is the central information and communication system for radio, CD, DVD, sound settings, onboard computer, telephone, and navigation module with high-speed hard disk drive. The system includes a high-resolution 7-inch touchscreen display for intuitive control. The optional voice control system can be used to control all key functions of PCM with whole word recognition. Also available as an option, the universal audio interface with an aux in port and a USB port, which can be used to connect devices such as an iPod. The heated windscreen, available as an option on all new Cayenne models. Optional on all models, adaptive cruise control regulates the speed of your vehicle from 30 to 210 kilometers per hour, 19 to 130 miles per hour, to maintain a preset distance from the vehicle in front by accelerating, restricting the throttle, or gently applying the brakes, following the speed of the other vehicle even down to a halt for added driver comfort on longer journeys. The optional Lane Change Assist LCA system monitors the rear blind spots on both sides of the vehicle and visually alerts the driver at speeds of 30 kilometers per hour, 19 miles per hour or more of vehicles in the other lane. When the indicator is activated, flashing LEDs warn the driver if there is a vehicle in the blind spot. Park Assist is standard on the new Cayenne Turbo and optional on all other new Cayenne models. It audibly alerts the driver of any obstacles in the area in front of and behind the vehicle. The optional reversing camera facilitates precise reverse parking and maneuvering and also assists with hitching a trailer. Help is provided in the form of a high contrast color image and the dynamic superimposed guidelines on the PCM screen. Adding an extra dimension to the distinctive acoustics of the new Cayenne, standard in the new Cayenne Turbo and optional in all other new Cayenne models, is the Bose surround sound system with an output of 585 watts from a total of 14 loudspeakers. Even more exclusive is the optional Burmester high-end surround sound system. The technologies behind the system meet the same exacting standards as those in the company's high-end home audio products. The result, 
a fully active system with a total output of more than 1,000 watts, 16 loudspeakers, and 16 channels. And one overriding goal, perfection in sound. But you wouldn't expect anything less from us, would you? Lighter, safer, more comfortable, and above all, more fuel efficient. There were many decisions we had to make, all in the name of Porsche intelligent performance. One thing was therefore clear from the start. The Porsche crest on the engine lid should remain untouched. The new Cayenne models, to the point.